these illusion images are going viral on the internet where you can turn your simple images into these optical illusion images and you can create this with stable diffusion for completely free by using hugging face ap123 space but right now this is too slow because of the high traffic so i'm gonna show you an alternative space where you don't have to wait for the long queue time so without any further ado let's dive into the video so first of all go to your search bar and search for hugging face and now select the first link so if you don't know about the hugging face this is a cloud service where people upload their a projects and you guys can access these models for completely free now click on the space section and in the space section you can search for the different spaces so i'm gonna search for the illusion diffusion and here you can see a lot of illusion diffusion spaces but most of them are not working anymore so the most famous space that everybody is using for this illusion diffusion model is this ap123 so we are not gonna use this one we're gonna use this png wn space right so click on this second space so this one works exactly the same where you can upload your image and you have the controls for the illusion strength and here we have some example images and next we have the space to enter the prompt and next we have the space to enter the negative prompt so in the negative prompt you can enter the things that you don't want in your output image and we also have some advanced settings where you can see the start of control control net and control net strength uh, strength of upscaler but we're not gonna change these settings because the only thing that you need to know here is the illusion strength so if you want more impact on your image you can use the high values and if you want the less impact on your image, you can use the lower illusion strength values. So let me show you with an example. So let's say I'm going to upload this image and I'm going to keep the strength values around 1%. And in the prompt section, I'm going to type landscape of a forest, bright sky, vibrant, vibrant colors, and let's run this. And you can see it instantly starts generating the image. And most of the people don't even know about this space. Yes, it does take some time, but we don't have to wait for the long queue times as we face in the ap123 space and i'm not gonna fast forward this video and the results will be in front of you and this is not just limited to your images or logos you can even use the text and we also gonna try the text prompt so this is the output image and you can see this is a really good image and it replaced our image with the sky and the trees and the ground everything is looking spot on and it also replaced the bones with this path kind of thing and overall it has a really good impact on the image and one more thing that you have to keep in mind is that always keep the strength value around 1 or 1.5 because in my experience these values generate some really good images but if you want to use the high values you can also use that but but the ending results will be not as good as this one so let's try one more image so this time i'm gonna try this image and the prompt will be same and let's generate so this is the output image and this one is also a really really good image so let's try some text so this is the text that I'm going to use and I'm going to keep the strength values around 1.3 and in the prompt section I'm going to type a group of ladies with suitcase and the negative prompt will be same and let's see what it comes up with. So this is the output image and this one is not bad actually we have some really cool text over here. Uh, so let's try something else. So this time I'm going to use different prompt and let's try an ocean. So these are the output results and it generated a private island in the ocean only for our text. This is really cool. Now let's try some human portraits and in the prompt section I'm gonna type cat babies and this is going to be something interesting. Let's see what it comes up with. So these are some really bad results actually. I wasn't expecting these results out of it but sometime it happens. Now let's try this apple logo and this time I'm gonna use a lengthy prompt, panoramic view of a lush valley and all that stuff and uh, let's see what it comes up with and one more thing that you have to keep in mind that the time i'm using this space i didn't face any issue of a long queue time but when this video will be live more and more people will start using this and uh, maybe you can face some queue time but still this will be not as busy as the other spaces so this is the output image and this one is also acceptable so that's how you guys can make these kind of illusion images for completely free without facing any long queue times so you can use this hugging face space i will leave the link in the description below so that's it from this video and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one